Welcome to the online consultation presentation for the project. The purpose of this project is to support the Education 2030 Sustainable Development Goal, launched in May 2015 at the World Education Forum in Incheon. Specifically, this project is to address the SDG Goal 4.4, to substantially increase the number of youth and adults who have relevant skills, including technical and vocational skills, for employment, decent jobs, and entrepreneurship. One of the SDG 4.4 indicators is related to digital literacy for youth and adults. To support countries in the achievement of the digital literacy related SDG goals, the UNESCO Institute of Statistics contracted the Center for Information Technology and Education at the University of Hong Kong to conduct this project to develop a global framework of reference on digital literacy skills. The Digital Literacy Global Framework aims to provide a comprehensive set of competences that are applicable across national and professional contexts so as to provide a common language and reference for benchmarking and comparison. As a first step, we collected digital literacy frameworks and use case examples from different regions and sectors around the world. We then map the digital literacies found in these frameworks and examples using the European Commission's Digital Competence Framework for Citizens, or DICCOM 2.1, as the base framework. Next, we conducted in-depth consultation interviews with experts from different regions to seek their feedback on the draft global framework from step one. Now, we are at the final step of the project, which is to conduct a wide online consultation from different stakeholders like you, and we are very grateful for your participation. The proposed framework consists of seven competence areas. Areas 1 to 5 on this slide are as defined in the DICCOM 2.1 framework. Competence areas 0 and 6 can be subsumed under area 5 in the DICCOM framework. However, identifying these as separate competence areas may make it easier for users of the framework to follow. It should be noted that the numbering of the competences does not indicate levels of difficulty or proficiency. It is important to note that competence as the capacity for adequate performance requires not only knowledge and skills, but also the disposition, that is, the attitudes and values of the individual to want to engage in the performance. We have also developed a methodology for different stakeholders, who can be individuals, communities, institutions, NGOs, national or international organizations for identifying digital literacy competences that are important in the immediate, medium, and longer term, so that stakeholders can map out pathways for digital literacy development and assessment that are relevant to the stakeholders' context. The first step in this process is to identify the targeted use case scenarios. One example is a pathway mapping in agriculture for a farmer. The immediate term would be to achieve the competences necessary to trade using mobile phones. Given the future availability of having a smartphone and access to online trading software applications, a farmer with the necessary competence can then trade without going through any middleman. More sophisticated farming operations could involve a farmer setting up a data-driven irrigation system using Internet of Things technology. Note that in achieving adequate performance in the targeted scenarios requires not only the necessary digital literacy competence, but also the accompanying access to devices and digital infrastructure available in the local or national context. Once the use case scenarios are selected, the mapping can be done by identifying the hardware and software technologies to be used, the operations required, and then the digital literacy competence for performing those operations. The enhancements in digital literacy competence needed in progressing through a developmental pathway may involve increasing the proficiency level of performance in existing competences, the development of new competences, or a changed profile of competence for which some earlier competence may become less important. 
Thank you for going through this overview. You can take the survey and get more detailed information from our project website. We appreciate your help in giving us feedback on the proposed Digital Literacy Global Framework.